Welcome back to Doom the Board Game. We're playing the first scenario, which is called Knee Deep in the Dead. And let's just get right into it. It's our Marine's turn. Uh, we have a badly damaged Mancubus here. He only has one health left. Armor of three. And our Marine here really wants to get in this room and come up here to this mystery vault and find out what is in there. Uh, he is going to do... Ha! Huh, what is he going to do? I think he's going to play it a bit risky. He wants to move. So he's going to do an activation, which means he can move four spaces and attack once. So he's going to move one, two spaces to here, and then he's going to attack with the shotgun. Uh, so let's go over to the dice tray, and he's going to roll his attack with the shotgun. He has two ammunition. Okay, a shotgun rolls a red and blue, does one automatic damage. Let's not have a miss. Oh, this is not good. Um, and I don't have any automatic range. And as you can see here, there's a whole lot of zeros on our dice, which means zero range, and our Mancubus is one space away. Uh, and we use an ammunition up for that as well. So that was a total waste. Back to the main board. Oh man. And we'll continue from there. Well, our Marine misses the badly damaged Mancubus, but he still has two movement uh, left. Ah, so he's just going to go one, two uh, around the corner here. All right. It's Demon Player's turn. Demon Player, of course, grabs a Doom card. Uh, that makes a total now of eight cards. Let's kind of have a look at his cards and come back with his actions. All right, so the demon player's reviewed his cards. He's not going to use any, but he is going to move the Mancubus and attack, of course. So one, two, uh, and of course, clear line of sight here. Only two spaces away. The Mancubus is going to be rolling. Uh, what does he roll again? A yellow, a blue, and a green. Let's go to the dice tray and have that attack happen. All right, this is pretty dangerous. Our Marine now only has two armor. Well, let's hope the Mancubus misses. He doesn't miss. Uh, he's lots of range. His six range does four damage. All right. Uh, the Mancubus does one automatic damage as well. So that's five damage uh, with two armor. That's going to be a loss of two health for our Marine. Let's go to his area and remove his health tokens. Okay, well the Mancubus hits him fairly hard and takes one, two health off. That leaves him with 11. Let's go back to the main board and let's see this time if our Marine can get some payback. All right, living dangerously once again. We're going to do an activation again, uh, which means we can attack once and then move four spaces. And this time uh, we are going to use a grenade. And we're going to throw the grenade right here, which is only one, two spaces away. Uh, we have a range of three automatically because it's going to be using a yellow uh, dice. So we're going to have one yellow, two blue. We're throwing a grenade at the Mancubus. Let's go roll some dice and hope we can blow him up. All right, pitching the grenade. Ooh, we didn't use up the ammo token, so that's good. And we do a lot of damage. We have a range of one, two, three. We have a range of six, three, four, five, six damage is two hits. Mancubus already has two damage. That blows him up real good. All right, back to the main board. And our Marine's going to get to move four spaces now. All right, that well-placed grenade blows up the Mancubus. No problem. Finally, after missing with the shotgun... Uh, and now our Marine gets to move four spaces. So yes, trying to get to this room. One, two, three, four. And now it is the Demon Player's turn. And when the Demon Player picks up his Doom card, he now has nine cards. He's going to have to uh, go down to eight. So he's going to have to review his cards for a moment. Actually, no, he's... Uh, yes, he will have to review cards and we'll come back and he's going to be playing things. All right, so our demon player, of course, will be playing a card after discarding one, and he's going to be playing this one, which is spawning either an imp or a zombie. And yes, zombies are the demon's favorite because they hit the hardest. And he has a nice little spot, and he'll put him here, tucked around the corner where the marine can't see him. And so move three spaces, one, two, three, and he's going to attack the marine and the zombies have one red, one blue. Let's go to the dice tray and have the zombie attack. Okay, the zombie's attacking. Miss! He do oh, he doesn't miss. He actually has five damage. 
Uh, that is going to put two more wounds on our Marine. This is not going as I had planned it. However, let's go over to the Marine area and we're going to remove two more life tokens. Okay, our Marine is going to have four wounds total now. That's two more. One, two, and that's going to mean uh, he is down to seven health. And he's been fragged now three times. Uh, so let's go back to the main board and we'll pick it up with the Marine. All right, our Marine player, while he doesn't want to use ground assault, he wants to move quickly. Uh, so I think I'm going to readjust the camera and I think he's going to sprint because the zombie's not so fast. So let me just readjust here. And I think our Marine's going to do a sprint action this time. All right, our Marine can sprint eight spaces. Uh, and so he is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six and seven and eight. So he's gonna pick up the grenade ammo and the health pack. All right, let's go to his area and add those goods to his stash. All right, so our Marine picks up another grenade ammo. So he has two now and the all important health pack, which is always good. That is going to put three health, one, two, three back on, which means he only has one damage now. All right, back to the main board. It's the zombie players. <laughs> I keep calling the zombie player. Back to the main board, it's the demon player's turn or the invader player's turn. Back to the main board, let's go. Okay, it is the demon player's turn, and of course they pick up a doom card, and they are going to keep it. Um, and that's going to be that. Uh, and now of course we're going to move our zombie one, two, three spaces, so he's trying to close in on the marine. Um, it is now the marine's uh, turn. And so, one, two, three. I think he's going to just take an activation. And with his activation, he can move four spaces and attack once. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. So he's picking up the rocket launcher and the ammunition, which I'm going to stick over in his area. So now he has two ammunition. He has a rocket launcher. Um, and he has uh, two grenades left as well. So he can attack now once. He's one, two, three spaces away from the zombie. And I think he is going to use uh, the machine gun, which is one yellow, one blue, one green. So let's go to the dice tray and he will attack the zombie with the machine gun. And of course he, uh, he has on automatic plus three range and the machine gun gives him plus two range, it's five range. So range is not an issue. Let's just not see an X. And we didn't, well, or a bullet symbol, which I don't like either. However, tons of range. He does three, four, five damage um, and that is going to be enough to take the zombie down because he only has a defense of two and two health. So that's two wounds in the zombie. He's gone. However, we do lose an ammo token. So I'm getting rid of that right now. So back to the main board. It is the demon player's turn. Okay, it's the demon player's turn. Of course, our marine blew the zombie away. So he's out of here. Uh, and demon player's turn. He gets to draw a doom card. He's going to look at it. And yes, he is going to play a card. And he's going to play this one, and it is Dud. It says, play at the start of your turn. Force a Marine to discard an ammo token of your choice. Uh, so our Marine has one regular ammo, one energy cell ammo, and two grenade ammos. And the Demon Player is going to have our Marine uh, get rid of his regular ammo token. So away that goes. It was a Dud. Um, and that, I think, is all the Demon Player is going to do. So now it is our Marine's turn, and yes, our Marine is going to sprint. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, ending his turn on the mystery area. And when he ends his turn there, I'm sure we have a little bit of text we need to look at. And so we will do that. Uh, it says, you use the combination the scientist gave you to open the vault and find a weapon inside. Uh, you've heard rumors of this device. Codenamed the BFG. With a little luck, it ought to tear those demons apart. So, inside our vault here, we find the BFG. The Oh, that's really awesome. That's the best uh, gun in the game. Plasma rifle exploding gun. Um, and it says uh, he gets the BFG and two energy cell tokens. And remove these from the game. So, inside this sealed vault we do find the BFG, which is pure awesome. Uh, and I will have to find that and we'll add it to his play area, plus two energy cells. All right, let's go to the Marines area and add those goods to his area. This is really, really good stuff. We need this. 
All right, so the Marine finds the BFG. This is so good. It uses energy cell ammunition, which he's already he picked up two with the BFG, and he already had one from before, so he now has three ammo tokens for the BFG. Uh, it rolls every uh, every dice in the game, and it is, so it rolls a yellow, red, two greens, two blues. It does one automatic wound and has a blast radius of two spaces from the target area. So that is just absolutely awesome um and of course our marine has the red key card so now back to the board demon player's turn what's he going to do our marine is now equipped with the best gun in the game uh and that bodes well for us so let's go back to the main board and have the demon player try and do something all right so our marine has gotten the bfg and now it's the demon player's turn of course they pick a doom card uh and they're not going to play anything just suspicious. He now has eight cards, but we're back to our Marine. Our Marine now is not going to fool around. He is going to sprint. He wants to get out of here. So I'm going to go eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to end our turn there. And of course, that goes right back into the Demon Player's turn. Demon Player is going to draw a Doom card. He has nine now, so he's going to have to discard a card. I'll let him think about that for a moment, and then we'll come back and finish off the Demon Player's turn. Okay, the demon player has looked over his cards. The demon player had to discard one. The demon player is playing no cards. Again, our marine wanting to get out of here desperately. He's got a good gun now. Uh, he has almost full health. He's only been fragged three times. He's heading for the door. He's going to sprint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ending his turn right beside the door. And again, the demon player's turn. The demon player gets to draw a card. He now has nine. He has to discard a card. Uh, and so we will come back with the demon player's turn again. All right, so our demon player is deciding not to play any cards. And it's now back to our marine. I think we're going to end it off here with the marine action. And then the demon action will be it for this episode. So our marine is going to take a ready action. He's going to open this door. Uh, and he's going to back off probably two spaces because we don't know what's behind here. So for two movement, he's opening this door. Um, and he, so he has two movement left and a ready action. So let me uh, prepare the next room and we'll finish off the Marine's turn. Then we're going to do the Demon's turn and we're going to end off the episode. All right. So I have to back out a lot here. This is a big room. Uh, this looks like the final room. We have the blue key card door, which was jammed, as we can recall. We've got a zombie, we have a mancubus, a hell knight, a revenant, I think they're called, or something. Uh, fireball shooting, super tough imp guys. And the red key card door, we have energy cell, plasma rifle, two health packs. Uh, and let's read the area. It says, this door opens into a room dominated by a huge steel door in the east wall. Near it, a screen reads, lockdown in effect, red clearance required. However, the room is also filled with horrific creatures barring your way. Yes, indeed. Uh, and of course, our Marine still has two movement and ready action. So he's going to go one, two back here. And he's going to go into the lovely Overwatch mode. All right. So I'm going to end off this episode with the Demon Player's turn. Uh, and it means they get to draw a card, which brings them to nine. So let me review their cards and do the demon player's turn and that will end off our episode. Okay, the demon player has discarded down to eight cards and he is now going to play a couple of them. First one he's going to play is Panic. And Panic says, play at the start of your turn, choose and discard one marine order from play without effect. So I guess our marine seeing that room full of absolute nastiness, Panic's is no longer in Overwatch. And the second card, the um, invader player, is demon player is playing, is a zombie and spider trite spawning. Ooh, this could be good for our demon player. I don't know. We will find out. So a zombie and a spider. So we're gonna spawn the spider around this corner. And of course the zombie around this corner. So this room is jammed with lovely, lovely creatures. Um, and so let's just get moving them, I guess. This guy's going to go one, two, three, of course. The spider's going to go one, two, three, four, five in behind our marine. Uh, let me rethink that. This is going to go one, two, three. So he wants to leave a space for the mancubus to shoot. 
All right, this guy's just gonna go one, two to there. Um, yeah, our Mancubus is gonna go one, two. I'm doing all the movement and then attacking because our Overwatch is gone. Uh, these guys get a movement of four. So he's gonna go one, two, three, four over in this corner. And our Hell Knight here has a movement of four, I believe. No, three. So he's just gonna go one, two, three, stomp along the side. All right, we're gonna have to do two attacks. Sorry, three attacks. We're gonna have one for the spider, one for the zombie, and one for the mancubus. And of course, they're all spread out uh, for a reason. All right, let's go to the dice tray. Let's get rolling uh, the attacks and find out what's gonna to happen to our marine. He only has two armor, but he does have a lot of health. Let's go back to the dice tray and get rolling. Okay, so first up is going to be our spider demon with a red and a green. Uh, and that's going to be three hits, which is going to be one damage. Uh, so I'm just going to tally the damage, and then I'm going to uh, deal the wounds after. So that's going to be one wound. Uh, and of course now, uh, with the zombie going to attack our marine, uh, we're going to play another card. And it's Rage. When you activate an invader, the invader may attack twice. So our zombie now, which is adjacent to the marine, is going to get to attack twice. He has a red and a blue. So first attack is five. That's going to be two wounds. So that's a total now of three. And a second attack, another five, two more wounds. That's a total of five damage. And now the Mancubus gets to go. Wow, he rolls a yellow, blue, and a green. So in the Mancubus attack, we have five damage on our Marine. Uh, and the Mancubus has lots of range. Uh, three, six, range. Oh, hang on. Is that enough? One, two, three, four, five. Just enough range. He does three, four, and one automatic is five damage. Uh, for another two wounds. So that is a total of a seven wounds on our Marine. Uh, that was a very, very good uh, maneuver for our Demon player. So let's go remove seven wounds uh, from our Marine and then we're gonna end it off. Ouch, seven hits. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is seven damage. He has only one, two, three, four. Wow, no, five health left five health left so that's very nasty let's go back to the main board we're going to wrap it up uh take a look at the situation which is pretty grim uh, and go from there all right the stage is set we have of course the red exit door over here the marine has to get through that but to get through that he has to get through all of these uh, thanks for watching thanks for subscribing join me next time when it's going to be the marine's turn he's down to uh five health uh, he's getting kind of surrounded by some big bads, but he does have the BFG, so maybe that will turn tide? I don't know. All right, join me next time for Knee Deep in the Dead, the first scenario from Doom, the board game, and we'll see if the Marine can get out of this and get through that red exit door before getting fragged three more times. All right, thanks for watching.